Right guys, welcome back and another quick educational video while I'm sort of fumbling through the M111 build and it really is fumbling at the minute, I'm not going to lie. So, what I want to talk to you about today is the connecting rods. So, typical connecting rods from 1980s to 1990s Mercedes cars. So, pretty much the kit keep things fairly interchangeable across the board to be fair with um, that sort of time frame. So this is a M111, M104 2.8 connecting rod. So this is a connecting rod from my M111 2.3. The connecting rods are pretty much the same across the board with the M111s apart from when you look at the Evo um, connecting rods they have a lot less material around here and I'll ping in a picture of that. So this is 149 mil center to center and you will see these rods on here. So this one is from an M102 and this connecting rod is from a M103. In actual fact, they're both stamped M102. The M103 engine used M102 connecting rods. The same with the M104 2.8 and the M111 sharing the same 149mm connecting rods. So the main differences are the length, but there are so many little subtle differences. So obviously you notice a bolt is missing from this one. So I will come over here. The bolt in my right hand is from a M102 connecting rod. The bolt in my left hand is from an M111 M104 2.8 connecting rod. Which one do you think is stronger? You'd think that one. Well, actually, they're both rated to 10.9. In reality, this one actually weighs more physically. You can feel the weight difference in your hand this one weighs more than this one which you wouldn't necessarily expect because there looks like there's far less material on this one but that is a simple subtle difference you wouldn't notice unless you were paying attention so i've brought you in for a top down view so to speak here um my voice might fade from side to side uh, but that's just due to my phone i apologize for that if you're wearing earphones and uh, uh, getting a weird sound effects if that makes sense anyway here we have m111 m102 m103 so the m102 and m103 rods are actually identical to both m102 rods um, there are subtle differences in the castings so you can see this m102 rod has more meat here than this m111 rod or this M102 rod, whereas this M102 rod looks like it has more strength to the sides of the rod than this M102 rod, and this M111 rod looks more like it has the same amount of meat as this M103 rod. Now, that is a lot to try and say, like, that is how much wood could a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood kind of thing. Anyway, um, on the M111 rod, it actually has more material around the small end than either of these two M102 M103 rods. But the M102 103 rods have more material around the outer edge than the M111 rod. Um, and again, it's all just very subtle, slight differences in the way that everything was cast and machined. So the keen-eyed few of you will have also noticed this crankshaft in the background and this pot of rods. Now actually that crankshaft belongs to an OM606 but is ironically stamped 104 and that is because the OM606 uses the same crankshaft as the 3.2 M104 and the M104 3.2 uses M103 rods which are actually stamped M102 because they're M102 rods and so on and so forth. Basically, 
During the 80s and 90s, Mercedes gave us a giant Meccano set, and we can just switch between bits, but obviously there is some maths required for that. Now, I'll show you that with how we have wound up with having the crankshaft in the M111 and the shorter rods. I can give you an example of what actually changes. So, we have the standard M111 crank with the standard M111 149mm rod in this cylinder and the M102's 145mm rod in this cylinder. As you can see, this is a standard deck height for piston to deck height for a M111 engine. And if we turn this engine over, which it's going to kill me to do so, bear with me. So that's the M102's piston to deck height um, with the standard crank. Right, so we've got the OM601 crank in. This is the standard M111 connecting rod and this is the shorter M102 connecting rod. So the standard M111 connecting rod puts the piston slightly above deck height, it's less than a millimetre, but this wouldn't work in the standard configuration, it would have to change the piston or machine the piston for this to work. So if we rotate the engine, that is now where the shorter M102 rod sits the piston. So this piston sits one millimetre below the deck height and this piston sits four millimetres below the deck height. Right, so that's it. Another school day comes to an end. I hope these explanational videos are really helping you guys. I know not all of you will want to do things this way. Uh, this build did start off as a forged build, well, forged rod build, but I can't make those BMW rods work and I'm not going to try to either. <clears throat> In reality, these rods will be strong enough for the horsepower that I'm aiming for and in reality I think it's also kind of more fun to be able to see what the limits of standard Mercedes parts are when you can interchange them like this and create your own sort of mad scientist mix. Uh, a proper Frankenstein kind of engine. So to be honest at this point I'm going to call it more of a junkyard build than a forge build. Uh, but along the way, I'm trying to do these educational videos to share what I find along the way with you guys. So if you guys want to do what I'm doing, you can. Because not all of us have a big disposable budget. Obviously, the pistons are going to be a bit of a setback. So that might mean that this M104 build, which will be a 2.8 stroke to a 3.2 with lower compression, um, that build might end up running alongside this build. So there might be a few videos going to and fro between them, but we'll see how that goes. So again, hope you've enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, share, really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.